everyone, greetings, my name is Slaven Ostoic, also known as Lisax, and in this video I'm going to present you phone line 2238. Stay with me, we're going to San Francisco. First of all, we never really liked the way San Francisco was looking in Fallout 2, so we have decided to introduce some changes. As you can see here, the entrance gate has been changed, and now there is a red star on it with a big gear in the middle, which should symbolize the progress of the place. And I'm going further into the city right now, and there it goes, the San Francisco Monument, with a hammer and sickle on it. Uh, you probably already I have a clue what happened to this place. We did keep the concept that the place was founded by the survivors from the Chinese submarine and these people brought their culture and their governing system with them, which means that San Francisco now is a commune governed by Central Committee and I'm going there right now. This is the former Shi Palace, but as you can see we have modified the entrance too, so there are two stars with gears on the entrance gate now and I'm talking to a guard outside right now so let's get in and see what's new in there so this is the new place the former Shi temple and now the central committee you can see it, uh, it is pretty changed uh, comparing to the old place and there it is the central committee this is the most important place of San Francisco. This is where the important things are going on. The Central Committee is presided by five chairmen and usually supported by the people who live in San Francisco. This is why we have so many chairs in the hall. And the overall red color should symbolize already the governing system and uh, the overall feeling of the place. If you are interested in history or have any questions, you can talk to the people around here, which I already did, and now I'm going to leave this place. You can see on the walls that this place was made from the remains of the Chinese submarine. And by the way, I'm going to show you the next feature, which wasn't uh, in the phone line before we started working on it. Uh, it is uh, automatically closed doors as you can see uh, the doors are automatically closed after some time and without further ado I'm going to move to the other part of the map uh, our maps are similar to the Fallout maps Fallout 2 maps we did of course merge some of them so uh, as you can see some of the map maps are, are merged into one big map. It is uh, right here the best example with San Francisco. Uh, I'm going to move through this gate further to the north. There is a, there are docks, San Francisco docks, uh, where the fish market is. There are fish merchants which uh, are selling fish. Uh, we were thinking that this place would largely um, get their income from the fish, from selling the fish, and as you can see, there they are. Of course, during the day, they are going to shout and try to sell their fish to the passers-by, and uh, of course to you, and during the night, they are going to keep their mouth shut, and if you try to talk to them, they'll tell you, come tomorrow, we're closed for the night time, and so on and so on. I'm just going to take a look at all uh, fish traders, merchants, if their floats are alright. It looks like that it is everything like it's supposed to be. And I think that everything is fine, everything works as it should be. So let's look away. Let's take a closer look to the tanker. There is the tanker with tanker fragrance. We didn't uh, remove it, it's still there. And there is another feature, the motel. These four shacks you see here, uh, they, can, they could be rented. And uh, it is another new feature. You can rent a room in a motel in different places. Uh, San Francisco is one of them. 
if you talk to the room keeper uh, and if you pay for the room you can keep it for some time and you can stash your items and money there so that's that's it the san francisco thanks for watching